What's going on ladies and gents and welcome back to more Rainbow Six Siege and today we have some pretty exciting news for year three. So in the Invitational they were talking about a lot of reworks for the competitive side of Rainbow Six Siege which is pretty hype. Um, I'm actually looking forward to a lot of these changes in all honesty and here are some of pretty much the biggest highlights. So if you guys are interested in watching Pro League they're actually changing up a lot of the fundamentals. Um, now, maps, when you play them, you will have to do five rounds of defense and then five rounds of offense. You'll also be able to pick and ban two operators and be able to see the operators that the enemy team has. That's really interesting, and I'm going to have to see how that plays out in Pro League. I don't think they stated anything for ranked or casual, so they're really trying to revamp Pro League in this new sort of meta, so we'll see how that carries out. Now, the biggest thing coming to us normal players here is that East US is getting a lot more servers on top of Africa and other nations and countries getting servers just flat out. So this is really good in the aspect because when you look at East US, I think their server hub was around Atlanta or somewhere. So even if you were in the East US, you'd sometimes have like a hard time connecting to it because it'd be a lot because it'd be farther than say the central US server. So with more servers around Toronto and other hotspots like that, I don't see why this can't be successful and make connectivity even on your own region a lot better, which is great in general server rework is exactly what we need. Um, for most of the part, uh, other parts, they're changing how the diffuser works in year three, season two. I don't really, they didn't really state how they're going to change it. They just said they don't like the way it currently works. So I don't know what that means. So, I guess we're about to find out what the hell that means. Uh, Yacht is coming back to casual, which is awesome. Uh, and we're also getting redesigns for Chalet. Uh, it's going to be completely designed around Bomb. Hereford Base is also getting changed, as well as they're fixing Clubhouse up. So that's a lot of map rework. And to be honest with you, those are a lot of maps that needed reworks too. The hardest part about sometimes attacking Chalet is that there's so many runouts. A lot of the objections are very difficult to approach for the attackers, especially train room. It was a lot of just sitting outside and hoping the enemy team went, you know, full retard and peaked you. Um, Hereford base was extremely vertical. You really weren't, um, you weren't able to attack from uh, certain directions. You said you have to just push in there really hard or get your vertical gameplay going in extra hard. But don't forget, also one map one map fix is per season, so slowly as they come. But as you'll see as the images I posted in the video here, you can see that a lot of these maps are changing for the better. So finally, Ubisoft is getting their act together and putting together good maps for a competitive play, which is awesome. And then we can also see the year three roadmap here, which honestly looks pretty awesome. So if you look. Uh, season 2, we are just going to get a new map and some Italian operators. Hopefully one guy just straight up doesn't allow you to touch his spaghetti and he just beats you with a wooden spoon. Um, season 3, we are getting a rework with a Delta Force operator or another US guy and another SAS soldier. So kind of like Operation Outbreak where we had just have a returning Russian and a returning uh, French unit. So we'll probably see some returning uh, favorite uh, guns so we might see some more m1014s things along those lines but hopefully we'll see some cool new additions to the arsenal and then last but not least uh, we do have another new map coming in with season four with a new ctu so hopefully ubisoft does a good job their theme for year three is global so lion and finca their global buffs will be the current theme of year three which can either be the most terrifying thing or the most amazing thing uh, i can't wait to get mute who can globally jam the entire mute at the flick of a wrist and then every thermite main start crying in in tears and while well, hibana can't rush it's gonna be pretty interesting so tell me what you guys think so far of year three are you guys interested in all the changes they're making to pro league does this make pro league more intriguing do you think it adds another skill level to it let me know what you guys think. Tell me what you guys think of the current concepts, what they plan on changing the maps for. Are you happy to see Yapat? Why is Favela not in the map? 
rotation. Obviously, we know why. It's garbage. <laughs> so, yeah, let me know what you guys think. And then tell me what you guys think of the whole theme of global operators that allow for universal buffs and debuffs for the attacking and defending team. Without further ado, I've been the Nearest Moose. Make sure you guys do check out the links down below for our Twitch channel to watch a stream and our Discord if you want to connect with the community some more. I'll see you sexy beasts next episode. Peace.